what's going on guys uh, back for another video this will be the first official uh, YouTube video to the channel um, I know I'll be doing some shorts and, as well um, but I'm here at work and we will be doing another headlight restoration these are pretty pretty bad pretty bad still got the oxidization that we need to take care of it's pretty cold out here it's literally 32 degrees but it's not gonna stop me gotta get these headlights done so let's get to it Woo. well just because it's cold out here don't mean you can't sweat we're gonna oh i'm not gonna show you just yet but are you ready are you ready guys I finished it I would say about 15 20 minutes or so freezing cold um, but it's done it's done she looks amazing amazing way better way better way better this first one for today um, got one here later and I'll see you in the next scene quickly wanted to go over some things that I found out um, that I kind of already knew about but I wanted to get the facts so if, uh, I went to AAA.com and got all the sur survey records or um, records of all the accidents that occurred because of oxidated headlights or deteriorated headlights and found that 70% of all accidents at night are from oxidated headlights. Uh, or deteriorated basically just has that yellow film all over it and um, that's why I've been harping on trying to get all these headlights done just to keep everybody safe um, not just being a safety issue it's so pleasing to be able to see your original headlights and not just some yellow little blobs on your car correct but main thing is to keep y'all safe uh, I just wanted to give you all that little tidbit thank you all right guys I told you second one of the day um, they're not so bad, but I mean, we're still going to make them look much better. Right now they're really oxidized. So let's get it done. Let's get it done. Like I said, second one of the day. It's about 38, 39 degrees right now. Um, but we're getting there. So okay, guys, we're all done. Um, it took a little bit longer. They were pretty bad so I'd say we were about 80% corrected um, doesn't matter results are in and they look fantastic fantastic there we go so that's done now we're about to head back to uh, the apartments see you there all right guys scratch that I didn't have the tool, which is a 15 millimeter socket. That's my bad on my point. The socket said I have, it only goes up to 13. So came to my brother's uh, and grabbed his tool set. Just got some the hyper tool set. It's fine. We'll make do with what we got. Just work up to it. Got my guy, Josh over here. About to do these belts and tensioners. Um, just doing it just because the belts are worn out. They're pretty bad. Um, he's going to get to taking everything off right quick. Tell him good luck, guys. Good luck, Josh. Get it done. And uh, we're going to go back here and look at what I got. So I got the um, gates, pulleys, and belts. I got the actual complete kit, um, probably backwards from what y'all are seeing. And then I got gates, belt, and another pulley. So we're gonna do both pulleys. It has two belts on it. Uh, one is for the main, um, the main serpentine belt, and the other one is gonna be for the the AC 
uh, belt. So both of them have tensioner pulleys. We're gonna replace both of those. And then like I said, we're gonna replace the idler pulley. So I'm gonna get all this done, get it all open. And then we'll take it back up there to Josh and put it on and all right guys like i said i got the complete set from gates uh for my truck so i got the main serpentine belt uh the idler pulley right there pretty good sturdy and then i got the tensioner and then like i said we also have the ac belt and the ac tensioner there you go so all that's ready just gonna go up there also guys i didn't say what we were working on we're working on a 2006 chevy 1500 this is my daily driver uh has the stock wheels which i painted black uh back 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 years years ago uh, she has a tonneau cover um she has a flow master side dual exhaust and i mean nothing she's just you know the daily hauler she gets it done she got some bumps and bruises but i mean she's a good truck she got over two hundred sixty thousand miles on it and um she's doing pretty good she needs the cleaning we're gonna clean this up i gotta get a good detail going for her so this is the main serpentine belt um it's not really that bad it's also a gates i'm gonna keep this one uh, in my truck just in case uh, we break down or anything like that but this is the AC one look at that cracking Jesus let's see a focus in there wow it's so crazy this is old she's worn out she's probably the stock one like I said 260,000 miles with the stock one on it yeah yeah and she has a K&N on it and like I said the exhaust but she's this uh, k and is probably worse for wear. I need to get her done. But also the plans for the future is we got to flush the coolant. We're going to flush that coolant. And then we're going to do a trans service. So we're going to change the fluid and the filter and the transmission. It's never been changed before too. So kind of worries me there. Um, we also have to do a brake service. Um, I think it's only been done once or twice before this. But she needs it. She needs it. I get on the brakes. And she wobbles so we don't like wobblers straight lines there you go got to make him laugh but yeah so brakes coolant um we're gonna do the uh transmission uh gotta do the diff i swear it's never been touched it's probably i'm afraid to even open it so all in all that's what we got to do i'm also probably going to order a fuel pump so i have a weird feeling having dreams about the fuel pump going out I don't know how I feel about that. The thing is that we got the new one. Uh, he's taking off the idler pulley right now in there. Let me take you around so you can see him. A little struggle, yeah. a little, a little a struggle. Little it's a little cold. Like I said, it's about 37, 39 degrees right now. Like I said, we did two two headlight restorations today and we're doing the belts on my truck you no know, and i gotta thank josh for that um i like getting my hands dirty but he's more the mechanic i trust him more than i trust myself so. right, see fellas and ladies it's not supposed to make that kind of noise and it's not supposed to wobble it's supposed to be nice and tight we're gonna get it knocked out real quick Man, I really do appreciate that, Josh, getting this done for me. And like I said, she's needed it, and I've been lacking on it, so we're getting it done. All right, guys, here's the comparisons of the stock OE one that has, like I said, over 200,000 miles. I don't want to be a broken record. But this is the new Gates one. Oh, my gosh. And it's made in Woods, Canada. Hey, I got to love them guys up there. All right, guys, here's the idler pulley. So here's the Gates one. Man, looking amazing. <laughs> and my old one she's a from what we could tell she was she was pretty gritty in there so well got that got that out of the way and right now he's working on the tensioner pulley in there but he also informed me my mr mechanic that 
my power steering pump. I'll try to get it where you can see. It's making, it's wobbling and making noises. So we are gonna have to get that pulley. And of course, I got my main man, Josh. He will help me with that. But right now we're working on this. Oh, and it's it off as soon as I get right, over guys. here. Again, the main tensioner for the serpentine belt. Whew, old and crusty. New and hotness. Thank you to Men in Black. Got that little. Hopefully all y'all got all right, that. Alright guys, so we have the main idler pulley, which was in this area. The tensioner pulley, which is right in that area. And then at the very bottom, by the AC compressor, somewhere down in there, right there guys, uh, that's where the AC tensioner is going to go. So we're going to go ahead and put the AC tensioner back on first. We're going to get her back on, and then we're going to put the belt on. Then we'll do the the main tensioner and the main ten, uh, the main idler pulley and put the belt on. And that should be it. Correct, Amundo? Facts. All right, this is the old one. They ain't supposed to rattle. They ain't supposed to wobble. They ain't supposed to drop either, but it's about to drop. Let's get a closer look at this. Man. Some miles on her. She was probably screaming. Look at that gloss on it. Jesus, the heat on it. Wow. Wow. Well, good thing. All right, guys. Like I said, uh, this is a 4.8. Um, nothing too impressive. Like I said, it's a daily driver. She needs to be cleaned up, which we will do, and we will record that for you. Um, but I also wanted to show you that I got some E3 spark plugs and E3 wires. I got this as a set. Thank you, E3. It makes my life so much simpler. These are just seven millimeter um, uh, spark plug wires. So, I mean, all in all, I haven't done anything to the truck. She's been real good to me. So we're going back to some of the things I have planned for it. Um, it's just, you know, being patient, making sure I have everything so I can do everything at one time. Because why would you do something, go back and do it again? Um, just to replace another part. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to wait until I have the things I need because she needs a full suspension, upper and lower ball joints. Um, she needs brakes and pads, um, but we're going to upgrade them. We're not going to use the same old, same old. All right, guys, there's, there's no point because we're, we're trying to mod this thing and I want to take care of her and we will rebuild the motor. Just don't get me wrong. We'll rebuild the motor um, in 260, 260,000 miles will feel like 100,000 miles again. Hopefully done the right way. Uh, so, but we are going to actually drop this truck, uh, 4.6 drop. We're going to put a Hush Power, also owns by uh, Flowmaster, from what I saw on the internet. Um, and you know, everybody believes the internet. Uh, but I'm going to get a Hush Power, and I'm just going to do a dump over the rear exhaust. Just for now, because uh, I just have some plans for that. But, you know, time will tell what we're going to do. Um, but, yeah, that's, I mean, little things here and there. And then on the interior, it's basically just a work truck. I mean, to and from, I mean, it's kind of dirty right here, you know, from what we can see. Um, but it has cloth seats. Uh, it has the vinyl floor, which is very annoying. I'm going to put carpet in it. Eventually put a system in it. It doesn't have one. Um, yeah, I mean, just the simple things. Just to make it feel more comfy when I'm driving it. Make it feel like it's mine. I mean, it's already mine. But make it feel just better to drive. Uh, nobody likes to drive stock. I hate stock, for one. That's why I named the channel Got Em Out Em All. Alright guys, it is on. That's the AC tensioner and the new belt. Oh yeah. All right, when you're always done, getting ready to be done and you have two serpentine belts, always check around the pulleys. Make sure that the belt is all the way in the grooves of your pulleys, the crankshaft, AC compressor, whatever it may be. Always make sure that it's there. Also guys, we were looking cause had a little confusion moment. I hope you still have on how these AC, uh, these uh, serpentine belts go on, guys. It's right here. So that was a real good help. <laughs> new tensioner, new idler, guys, new belts. Oh, yeah. There you go, guys. She's on. She's a running. 
is running. A little exhaust now, just for you guys. Sounding good. How are we looking, Josh? We're looking great. Just making sure everything's tracking right. Nothing sounds loose. Make sure the tissues are doing what they're supposed to do, is bouncing and keeping the belt tight. It looks good so far. All right, guys, she's done. I got the A-OK -okay from Josh. She's actually quieter in the motor section. That's how I know those pulleys and idlers are bad. Um, so there you go. Got a couple, hopefully 50, 80,000, 100,000 miles more in those belts and tensioners. There you go. All right, guys, I want, like I said, I want to give Josh a big thank you for coming out. And, no problem. Uh, That's what I do. Getting it done, getting it done. Man, she sounds better. And I guarantee you she's going to drive better. Um, but like I said, the plans are in the works. We're getting everything situated. Uh, mostly just saving money. Being real, just, it's all about saving money to do what you want to do. Um, and once you got a plan, you stay consistent, save your money, you can do anything, guys. So, like I said, we're going to get out of here. We'll see y'all in the next video. Later.